Whoa! Watch where you're going. You watch where you're going. No, you watch where you're going. Move, move, move. You want to yeah, do this? Let's do it. Okay. Then. We'll see who moves. Let's go then. Okay, okay let's then. do it. Yeah, lunchly, bro. Your shit has molded it. What are you doing? <laughs> JJ, you're a genius! I ain't gonna lie, that motherfucker ugly. Wait, upon further inspection, that ain't mold, that's blue cheese. I swear I'm addicted to blue cheese. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I just poisoned your six-year-old. I like my cheese moldy, bro. Fuck no! Dude, put that shit in the garbage, man. This is a crazy three-course meal. Start off with some moldy cheese, rinse it down with the PFAS-filled prime that kills your fucking balls, and then take a big bite out of the Feasibles chocolate bar brought to you by pedophiles in the workplace. Baba Booey. WestJet. What is up, McDonald's workers and human burgers? WestJet 605, Venezuelan trillionaire here, and today we're talking about Xi. Oh, and literally 0% of your subscribers. Be sure to subscribe. Yeah, yeah. The good, the bad, and the ugly have gone too far. They have posted cringe, a crime on the internet. First, they had an ad running from the SEC for their alleged crypto scams, and now we're up to this shopping carts. Waltz is in there and comes the king of the carts. Now, since we're on the topic of Lunchly, it ain't looking good for KSI because uh, people have been finding mold in the product and uh, you can't make it up. It looks pretty delicious. A Mr. Beast hate squad has assembled to try Lunchly. We got uh, Jake Weddle, Dog Pack, and Rosada. This is molded. That's mold. This is not safe. All right, relax the shining. This is just blue cheese. I swear I'm a- Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be comparing Lunchly and Lunchables. Yeah, today we're going to be comparing dog shit to cow shit. Time for the taste test. Oh, it's so much mold. This is terrible. Oh my gosh. We put a lot of effort into this. I just want you guys to know I did not fake this. I was honestly going to go over nutritional facts and differences between the two. The gods of Indian karma might be at play here because his biggest haters somehow got the boxes that were moldy. Now that's a coincidence. And the thing is, I genuinely don't think she faked it because a bunch of other people on TikTok and like YouTube were getting moldy boxes as well. So this could have been just one very unlucky batch that fell right into her lap. Lunchly! That's amazing! JJ, you're a genius! Hey, fellas, come on in. I've got the food in front of us here. I'm just going to be sipping my tea. Now, which one do you guys want to start with? So we've got... Is that mushrooms on that? What is that? No, it's actually Joe Rogan DMT. <laughs> I mean, it goes exactly how you'd expect. It's just a processed trash Lunchable. Nothing special to it. So are we going to try the blueberry pizza or no? <laughs> They're just ripping off other brands. They don't bring anything new and original to the table. Even the flavors they chose are exact ripoffs of Lunchable. It's just influencer marketing. They're like slapping their name on a product and hoping it'll sell. It's like the Mbappe speaker. And fellas, I don't know if I'm speaking for all of you, but do we really care about Lunchly? Like the only issue with it is how they're advertising it. If they just said, yeah, this is unhealthy ripoff shit, I feel like nobody would have batted an eye. Anyway, the internet's doctor, Mustard Mike, had something to say as well, but first he went on a little bit of a schizo rant. Tweet? That that says at real doctor that's not even my handle and it says lunchly will kill you i literally never said that the video has 26 views bro you should just sue this guy for slandered at this rate and another one right below it that says mr beast lied lied about what like this guy has 18 views what are you worried about right, you know what i'll give him this one this one has like 2 million this is something here but the other two you gotta be tripping there's also this issue that was raised by jake paul and i think phase banks where they said logan paul launches a better for you snack and the whole internet's in flames for three weeks and then kai sanat launches his mcdonald's no, 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 meal and saying. no one that's says a peep logan paul ksi and mr beast making lunchly and people are very outraged that it's unhealthy and then other people that are not outraged when there is a McDonald's collab that goes on with Kaysenad, Kaysenad. As far as I know, Kaysenad ain't in court standing there in front of the grand jury claiming that McDonald's is healthy. Uh, or uh, Ryan Trahan releases Joyride. And I think that those things are not interchangeable. But when you say Lunchly is healthy or a healthier alternative, that's making claims that if debunked, you would face some criticism. You need and to eat 400 lunch leaves to eat an average Nikocado avocado meal in 2018. It's not even a real food. Unironically, I think the mold actually makes it healthier. It probably adds some calories. My ninth top 10 single. <laughs> so to all the haters, ha <laughs> ha! 
Womp womp. <laughs> womp womp. Are the haters in the room with you right now? I feel like everyone's moved on from your song except you. Like, ironically, you're still in the thick of it. And you know what? Props to KSI. His song is doing well statistically, but it's not for the right reasons. Nobody really respects you as an artist. You will never be Joji, bro. You'll always be a YouTube rapper. And it's not me being a hater. It's me being a realist. Legit, having nine top ten singles is crazy. And big up official charts for giving me this lovely plaque. Maybe in the United Kingdom, KSI is some sort of urban legend because he escaped the daily diet of beans and bread, but I'm pretty sure nobody in North America or a first world developed country actually listens to KSI. Like, not a single person has ever put him on aux before. Lunchly is great for this. Gee, I wonder what this is going to be, KSI. Bro, even YouTube's trying to get me to stop watching your video. This video may be inappropriate for some users. He literally uploaded a whole video reacting while eating a Lunchly Hassan style, like, in the background. Like, this is terrible. He actually lost a thousand subs like bruh british people exist so ksi's popularity isn't going anywhere but he is losing a lot of credibility with a lot of his og viewers says he's enjoying his downfall posting a couple of videos clouding on him but his song is doing good so props to him i guess from the yeah to the sus to the wrist to the mu yeah i'm edging in ohio fan i'm flexing as i do yeah i know i'm good i'm good come on up boy how you feeling you know i feel like this is crazy like, like. Freudian slip. Why are you using the Lunchly logo to censor the word shit? Hey, we're hanging off this building to tell you about our new product, Lunchly. It's a better for you lunch product that has prime and peace built in entree. We have pizza. Pressure. Oh, our pizza has real cheese. Not a real bragging point, but I guess he wasn't lying. We also have a nacho one. JJ, tell him about the turkey stack. Oh, I don't know, brother. What does climbing the World Trade Center have to do with Lunchly? You're just chilling on Tower 7. Like, what? <laughs> we got the dancing Israelis at home. <laughs> for legal reasons, that's a joke. It's is this halal? <laughs> Would you want halal lunchly? Nah, you can't make it up. These are the first comments I see. This is my first time trying Mr. Beast and, and Logan's lunchly. Texas gets case eyes as well. Who? 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 Yes, I turned him into an owl, homie. Can't will turn you into a damn owl, homie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is great. The it's cheese is fire. You know what else it is? It's moldy. I like my cheese moldy, bro. At this point, I feel like the KSI situation is truly over. Just like more Pegasus. But for real this time, because uh, what, can, what else can he do? Like, not a single soul takes his music seriously. His food is a next level joke. So you guys want to start with nachos or pizza? Uh, neither. Like, we can't lie. KSI is terrible at responding to the criticism, but out of his business partners, he is the lesser evil. Let's not forget that. I don't know if Mr. Beast casted a Haitian voodoo spell that, like, got KSI I coerced into this because this decision was quite frankly stupid. Like, it seems like a no-brainer to maybe, like, postpone the project while Mr. Beast isn't in the thick of it, but I digress. I'm not gonna sit here and make the claim that all Lunchly is moldy and a terrible product, but I do think, personally, they gotta work on their quality control a little bit. But more than anything, I mean, the three people who own Lunchly and who founded it suck. Logan Paul, a whole myriad of controversies ongoing as well. Mr. Beast, this year has been, like, the worst year for Mr. Beast on YouTube in terms of, like, feedback and stuff from the community. And then KSI, well... He's just in the thick of it, bro. They're profiling him just because he's black. <gasps> no, 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 no. That's it for the trash video. Catch you guys next one.